So now all we have to do is sit and wait for everyone to arrive. Whoa! <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Kingdom Craft. I'm in my crazy base right now and the first thing we have to do is take care of our useless librarian. So last time I put a poll on the video asking what I should do with him, the options were to kill him or to spare him and name him. And apparently you guys are as psycho as I am because you all voted to kill him, which I will happily do. Wow, it's a good job he can't read my thoughts because I am about to craft a death trap. Luckily, I have been hoarding these buckets of lava just for this very purpose. I knew something like this would come up. And let's make some iron trapdoors. What is that? How do you make an iron trapdoor? What? Guys, I'm a noob! What, ha what happened to me? What? They changed the recipe without telling me? Minecraft! Why? Okay, I have the perfect place to hide this lava trap behind these flowers so that they're not really aware of what's going on until it's too late. There we go. Now what we have to do is push the librarian in. Be gone! Oh my gosh. Oh, how cruel of me. Now let's close that up. Now I'm not about just punishing those who displease me. I'm also going to reward my loyal subjects, such as Toolsmith Villager number one, by giving him a name, yes. You guys suggested that we call him Villager Jeremy, which is the utmost honor that I could bestow upon him. So let's go and get my name tag. Villager Jeremy. And let's go name this good boy. This is the equivalent of being knighted by the queen. Ta-da! Now all we need to do is get a new librarian villager to replace the one that went missing so mysteriously about 10 seconds ago. So we need more splash potions of weakness. And luckily, I have approximately 1 million golden apples saved up. And most importantly, we have an unlimited supply of zombie villagers. <sighs> ah! Now let's get him over to the right place. But please don't kill Jeremy. And now we just have to wait while he undergoes the curing process. 12 seconds later. Hello. You look just like the last guy, but I hope you're better. <gasps> no freaking way. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to kill you. Now let's get some of these mending books. Yes, thank you. This is the best. Thank you for your services. I think we should give him a name tag as a reward. So let me know in the comments what we should name this guy. And I think we should recognize the accomplishments of some of my other loyal subjects. My artists! Since we already completely filled up the villain's room, I had even more people submit amazing artwork to me. So here are a few of them for you to gaze upon and be amazed as I was at their talent. Now onto some more serious business. It has come to our attention that one of the villains was attacked. And by attacked, I mean CPK broke into Megan's base to take a selfie in there. So I'm gonna call a meeting with the other villains, but first we need some money before we can help Megan. So I was thinking, fundraiser and then i remembered i'm kind of a hoarder why do i have chests full of slime so i'm currently on sixty nine thousand dollars let's see how high i can get my balance by selling most of my stuff i mean it's not like i need it anyway so let's sell all my end pearls yes yes oh sorry got a little bit excited there death vendor my bad i'm going to be rich i tell you oh oh let's not forget i can sell all of these saddles Okay, that's the last of it. So, I managed to earn over $200,000. And all it took was a good spring clean. So now I've got loads of money, we can help Megan. So I'm gonna call a meeting for all the villains and we will assemble in the new villain space. Where Joel has built us this amazing villain town hall to hold meetings in. And we each have one of these very evil looking chairs. So now all we have to do is sit and wait for everyone to arrive. Whoa! <laughs> you nearly went straight to the fire! <laughs> Welcome to the meeting, Ollie. You're early. Take a seat. Oh, Megan's here. I've arrived! Welcome. Hello. Take a seat, Megan. Greetings. Did someone order some chicken? Because yeah, hey, you're standing on the table, Joel. That's Ooh. disgusting. <laughs> so I've summoned you all here today to discuss the attack upon Megan's base. We need to protect our fellow villain and make her base unraidable. Oh, yeah! So I've made a lot of money and we'll spend it all on obsidian. 
And so I spent all of my money on Obsidian and gave it to Megan so that we could fortify her base. And let's also make sure to cover up the hole that CPK used to get down here so they can't find their way back in. And the last thing we need to do is get Megan to claim more chunks so that her base is more protected. So to make money for that, I'm going to go to the villain base where Joel has built the most amazing contraption in this corner over here. This is a marvelous invention. There's a skeleton spawner up there, so every now and then a skeleton will drop down, and the wolves will kill the skeleton, and I will get the XP. So this is a really good way to farm XP, but also it produces a lot of bones, and those bones end up down here. So I'm just gonna sell a bunch of these. 47,000, that should be plenty for Megan to claim her land. Hello. Hello. Okay, so you currently have three chunks claimed, but you need to claim a lot more for it to be safer. So I'm gonna give you all Ooh. of my money. Oh my goodness, Lizzie. <laughs> and now you just need to go and claim more of the land. 12 seconds later. Okay, so now Megan has claimed a bunch of land. This will help keep her base protected. So let's go back to the villain base. So one thing I actually need to do here in the villain space is build myself a little home. Over here, Joel has a home for himself, his tiny little hut, and it is freaking adorable. And Megan is working on her house over here. So now I just need to put one in my space right here. So let's go and get some blocks to build this out of. So let's build it out of concrete because it's cheap and colorful. There. I think we have a nice color palette to work with now. So luckily I only have to build the front of the house because the back of it is kind of hidden by the cave. So let's nestle it a little bit into the cave. We'll start here. I'm gonna do pink walls. Okay, this might be a little bit too pink. Ah. So this space is a lot smaller than I thought. So the good news is we don't have to build a roof. The bad news is we don't have space for a roof. Okay, so this is the outside of my house. So here is my little home away from home. So up here in the bedroom, I'll have my pink bed, maybe a nice jukebox so I can listen to my music to get to sleep. Ah, oh my gosh, that's not gonna help me sleep. That's awful. That just reminds me of the impending doom of the League of Victims coming to get this base. Let's also put some nice flower pots on the windowsill here. Cute. And now downstairs, we'll have a little kitchen area over by the window. Ooh, and we can do a different kind of floor for here. Let's do a cute checkered pattern with blue and white. Oh, how cute. Now over here, let's have a piston, which I'm gonna turn into a table. And then we can just put some chairs on it. That looks so cool. I think we need some villainous artwork. Aha. Now would this even be a house if it didn't feature a nice little pond for sea pickles? Now this is almost perfect. We just need a bookshelf in here so we can get smart. Cute, my little home away from home. What do you guys think? It doesn't really blend in with the surroundings. My bad. Well, now that that's done, we can go back to my base and take care of a few things that I've been neglecting. I kind of forgot about my bedroom. Yeah, sorry bedroom. I've been neglecting this area because I've been using it to spawn mobs. Let's clear this place out, ready for a makeover. Now, what color haven't we really used? We've got a lot of white in here, rainbow in here, black in here, and nature colors in here. I think we need a nice blue. So let's start breaking down this ugly cobble and replace it with this much nicer blue terracotta. Now, what shall I do with the floor? <gasps> Ooh, maybe I should have an emerald floor. Am I a crazy person? Yes. Oh, that actually looks so nice but it's so expensive. This is the room to show off my wealth. And unfortunately, this is where my wealth runs out. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to just use lime wool for now until I can save up a few more emeralds. Oh dear, that's kind of hideous. But one day it will be emerald. Now I think one thing that would be really cool in my bedroom is a huge fireplace. And that's also really dangerous. Now I know you're probably worried about the safety of my bookshelves on the other side of there. I'm also worried about that. But let's just try and make the safest fireplace possible. Here goes nothing. <gasps> Please don't burn everything down or I will cry. I'm serious, fire. Don't do this to me. Now, this place still needs to look cute, even though we have this budget wool floor for now. So let's go and get some decorations and I hope that it doesn't burn down while I'm not looking. Oh good, you're still here. Now, let's put in a bed. Half cyan, half light blue. 
And let's get a table over here. So we have a couple of these cool skulls to put around. I think these fish ones would be kind of perfect up here because this is prismarine. So we've got a little pink and cyan fish and a little purple puffer fish. Over here we've got a shulker and a piggy bank. And then over here, my cat and my dog. So cute. And then my little pet rabbit. I'm just gonna leave it here on the floor by the fire, toasting. Now, I'm kind of tempted to go on an emerald run in the mansion, but I think that might result in my death. <laughs> but dang it, do I want to replace this floor and flex on everybody? So I'm gonna do it. I can't believe I'm going to such extreme lengths for a floor, but here we are. So I'm gonna go into the mansion and I'm going straight past the spawners. I'm just gonna pretend they're not, oh wait. Emeralds! I'm only gonna grab the emeralds. Oh wait, oh my gosh, I'm like fully gonna die. Ew, stop chasing me! Ah! Oh my gosh, they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me. What the heck? They're so deadly. I'm not, I wasn't ready for this. I have to eat my enchanted apple. No emeralds. I only want the emeralds. Why are they? I could kill these guys for emeralds. Or they could just kill me for fun. Oh geez, guys, stop. This isn't fair. Guys, I'm scared, I need to get out of here. Ah! Wait, which was the only way out? I regret this so much. Oh my gosh. Get out! I shouldn't have done this. I'd like to leave the mansion now. I'm going. I'm sorry. Well, that was a fail. I got 43 emeralds and I nearly died. So, as you can see, it's gonna take me a while to replace this stupid floor, but it will be so worth it. So that's it for this episode of Kingdom Craft. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you next time.